It's over for you, Ben Hawke. Taken to Oxford Prison, Corporal. I'll join you there. Well, did you have him? Twenty. Twenty? Half the blood money. But Ben Hawk is worth more than forty guineas. You're mistaken, Mr. Sarney. Ben Hawk! There's ballads written about him. One of my best men, top of the tree. Ballads or no ballads, you'll only fetch forty at Tyburn. Well, then I, I shall have to be grateful for small mercies, then, won't I? And deliver me another scoundrel, eh? I find Ben Hawk. Never. On the scaffold, Hawke behaved in an undaunted manner and confessed to a great number of robberies. Then, mounting the ladder, he spoke a few words to the topsman, threw himself off and was dead within five minutes. You knew him well, didn't you? He was the landlord of the Jolly Wagoner on the Oxford Road. A home and innkeeper? Yeah, there's several of them around. I was thinking of getting a place once. What have we got? Uh, 146 guineas in the trinkets. Right, we'll take that lot to Harry Simpson. Make sure you get a fair price from the old swindler. But I don't know what they're worth. Well, it's time you did. Come here, let's have a look. Not a penny under 200. Give us the gold. Meet me at the Jolly Wagger in two days' time. I'm going to give this a sell. Who's sell? Ben Hawke's wife. Not here. Come on, let's go. Baby, you're all, sir. Where's Sal Hawk? Who wants to know? I do. He does. Well, I never felt better in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible waste of good ale. That's a terrible waste of good ale. <laughs> <laughs> you better buy me another one. He'll have one as well, won't you, John? Now, you fetch them. Makes a good pot boy, don't they? <laughs> now you drink it. Go on, drink it. 
Shake it! Oh. Hey! Hey, let him up! <laughs> let him up, I say! This thick-headed clod one of yours, Tyson? Dick! <laughs> Dick, you... <laughs> you damn dog! Uh, huh? You wicked old <laughs> devil, Tyson. Oh, my God, you've worn well, huh? Well, it's all the fresh air and exercise that does it. <laughs> Tell me, uh, why was you uh, using Harry Bassett as a mop? Uh, it just happened to be handy at the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys! This cove here is Dick Turpin. Need I say more? Hey, Larry. So you still need the Brotherhood, dear Tyson? Oh, yes, yes. I'm still the upright man. And I know them all. From every gentleman down to the lowest little cut purse. Each has his place and his purpose. Uh, Tyson Sani, king of the vagabonds. Oh, why not? Even rogues need governing. <laughs> Thank you. The Brotherhood. Out, all of it. Now, you ain't come here to pass the time of day, have you, Cully? I came to see Sal Hawk. Ah. So you heard about Ben? How was he caught? Well, he was all set to rob uh, Lord Bristol's coach. One of my best men, top of the tree. But somebody squeaked. And you'd never guess who it was. His own wife. Sal? Shh, no, I don't believe it. Well, Harry would have strung her up. But the artful Doxy tricked him, too, and got away. You won't see her again at the Jolly Wagon Early. You're wrong there, Tyson. It wasn't Sal. Trust is a rare thing these days, Dick. A rare thing. <laughs> 